These are new pictures from Kazakhstan, where Soyuz spacecraft just touched down. American astronaut Nick Haig and two other crew members from the International Space Station returned to Earth safely. Haig spent more than 200 days in space. He survived a dramatic launch abort last October. We remember this before getting a second chance to fly into space. And just before he left the space station, Haig told Mark Straussman what he's learned over the last year. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning. Nick Haig's space dream was a struggle, but worth it. Over the last six months, he has orbited the Earth more than 3,200 times. We talked to him on his last day aboard the space station, just hours before he suited up to come home. Nick Haig now outside the International Space Station. This is Nick Haig, walking about 250 miles above the rest of us. His Earth view and his life view both changed. To be able to look down and see the Earth for what it is and realize that we're on this very special place, this precious island in this abyss of darkness, the change in perspective up here is, is profound and you can definitely feel it. For six months, Higgs' home has been the International Space Station. But his emotional space ride began before he got here. Lift off. Last October, his ride to space, a Russian Soyuz rocket, had to abort mid-flight. A booster malfunctioned, disintegrating beneath him. The Soyuz abort system flung the capsule carrying Haig and a Russian cosmonaut to safety. Back on the ground, this hug from his wife Katie was longer than usual. You realize in that moment, hey, this could have been really bad. When we talked to the couple last December, NASA was giving Haig what he wanted, another shot at space with another Soyuz launch. You're not nervous? Uh, I'm nervous. Oh, yes, yes. It's scary to be the spouse and to watch it from the outside is, is very scary. But this Soyuz flight reached the space station without a hitch. Contact is confirmed. Nick Haig of NASA, the next one through the hatch. It's a mix of emotions, the, the relief of, of finally accomplishing it, the knowing the, the sacrifice that had been put in up to that point, not just by me, but by my family. While in space, the 44-year-old Haig has done three spacewalks, performed a series of science experiments, and lived a microgravity lifestyle. But it's time to head back to Houston. And what are you going to miss most? about space. I'll miss things just floating and uh, myself <laughs> being able to just float around for, for six months. Have you got pretty good at, at space gymnastics? We'll give it a shot here. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. I gotta tell you, Mark, that never gets old. <laughs> Since 1961, only 358 Americans have ever been in space. They all defied long odds to get there but none quite like Nick Haig. What does your space experience say about the power of second chances? Life is full of adversity, and, and what defines you is how you encounter that adversity and whether you bounce back from it or not. And so I think second chances are really moments in life where you can reflect on what's important and why you're committed to what you're, what you're committed to. Haig also can't wait to see his family again. Let's face it, six months is a long time apart. So I emailed his wife, Katie, to ask whether there was some big Haig family homecoming in the works. She told me that their big plans are to eat pizza and drink wine. Oh, really <laughs> like Nick Haig and Katie Haig, too, yeah. in particular. I was surprised that, not really surprised that he wanted to go back again, but I, I would imagine the family would be nervous. What was that big red blob that he ate? <laughs> well, I was looking at that like, what is that? It looks like jello, maybe? I don't, I don't know, know, but I, I, don't I, know. I, I had the same thought I did. Like, I'm yeah, not sure. That's, no that, that's not part of my space experience. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, dedicated guy. I love that he's going to miss floating. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That doesn't look fun. It does, right? I, it does look yeah. fun. I also yeah. like the, uh, the no shoes policy, apparently, on the International <laughs> Space Station. Everyone's got their socks on because yeah. of all the equipment. We can try that here. All right. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it.